Mianza. Eh. Yeah. Now, uh, good morning. It's another day. No more me poultry farm. Uh, maybe as uh, you are following me on Facebook, I have uh, two farms. One is in Siaya, uh, Game County. Another one is in Mumias. Uh, Mumias is my home, so I also have a poultry farm here. Now I do it here and I do it uh, in a small way, in a very big way. So Mami Poultry Farm is in uh, two farms. Number one, uh, it is in uh, Sierra Game, and then the second one is in uh, Mumia. So just let me just take you around. Now my cuckoos, uh, now please note, I was struck, I was struck by Newcastle. So notice that uh, a good number of my poultry were wiped off. I had around poultry of around 200,000 but were wiped off, but who am I? I'm the poultry genius. I am here, I'm able to withstand the storm. So if you are doing poultry farming, know that it is a high risk, high returns uh, kind of adventure. So you should not give up because your flock is dead. My flock is dead, 200,000 has gone in a flash. I had white turkeys, I had uh, uh, I had uh, white uh, guinea foils, I had uh, uh, chicken worth of 80,000, all were gone. I think there was a Newcastle. Maybe in another video I'll be able to share the details. Just come here. My chicks, my, my hands uh, do actually free range. Maybe you can just take uh, 360 degrees. Just take a 360 degrees. My daughter today is a director before she reports to school today. Just take 360 degrees of the place. So that is my compound fence all through. Just take a 360 degrees. Yes, so my hands will stay at this particular point. So it's just a small place. They stay here at night. They come out. Now, when I have some um, some cuckoos that um, are actually sitting on the eggs, they will stay here. Maybe you can just come. Now, for raw poultry, I just want you to come for all poultry uh, updates. Uh, um, the poultry genius is here for you, so you can see here they sit on the eggs at this particular uh, point. So you can follow me through. Now, um, I had a lot of poultry here, but as I told you, the Newcastle had actually had um, uh, strike me, and uh, a lot of stock here died. Just come with me here. You can see the other side, I have my boy. That is me in my job, and then you have my cow there. Most of the sheep, uh, most of the uh, goats, I sold them off. Uh, you have my canoe calf here. Thank you. You have there. Now here, I'm having cages. These cages, I use them to, to take care of uh, the sheep. Then I have my goose there, the one three. They are laying, two females, one male. Just come. Uh, when I do free ranging, I just place my I place my food there. You can see they we have grow tomatoes there, so they just free range, come, eat some. For the goods, just come. For the goods, they, they must you must have some water here. You must have some water for them to to play around inside. So you can see there I have some turkeys. Some of a good number of my turkeys around six were struck by Newcastle, but here am I. Uh, you must be resilient for poultry farming. I have some ducks there. Muscovy ducks. Muscovy ducks. Come. You can see here I have some cages. Uh, some cages I use them for transportation and also put there some chicks. But uh, I'm, ju I'm just uh, re-strategizing. Uh, very soon in my upcoming videos, you'll see a lot of stock here again. I'll come up again. So I'm just trying to ensure that uh, the virus is dead. I've done some um, uh, spraying. Disinfect using Carol. I have done uh, the, using um, BioSafe to disinfect the place. You can see there. Just come. Uh, I normally place here. Just come. Uh, I have a story building here. A story building, a story, a story um, policy house. If you have, uh, if you want such a design, call me. You can get me on Facebook, Felix Mukoya Shiundu. On YouTube, search um, the Poultry Genius Africa Omami Poultry Farm. Poultry Genius Africa Omami Poultry Farm. Follow me. 
for very good content. Now you can see we have a story building. We have fundis, by the way. We have a fundi here. One of my brothers is a fundi. I have a fundi in Siaya. So if you want, you want such a structure, it can even go three story buildings up. So if you want such a structure, if you want a good structure, please call a bar. So just come, come and zoom. So I'm using a ladder here. So you can see I'm having some few chicks there. Uh, remember I told you some um, Newcastle had struck me, so I'm, I'm actually, uh, you can just come. Newcastle had struck me this other side, so you can see we have some other chicken there, so I'm just giving them time to cool off. Now, um, uh, yes, and then here we have some pre-ranging, so in my compound, in my compound they will pre-range, because I have a chain all round. Now, I have the training all round, so I have just to put some food in strategic places. You can see, come from this side, you can just take it from this angle. Uh, my compound is fast, so the poultry will just roam inside here. Uh, follow me. Now, I have a cow shed here where I put my... where I put my... Um, my ngombe and my ducks also sleep here. Uh, I have a stock of uh, tomatoes here. Uh, these tomatoes, I normally talk to those mamas that sell. Those mamas that sell uh, uh, raw tomatoes, when they are good spoiled, I give them something. I give them 20 bob, I give them 30 bob. I bring for my cuckoos because they free range. So you can see here, uh, this is my cow shed. I only have I had a good number of cows, but I've sold them off. So this is where my cow and my calf that you have seen outside spends at this particular point. Uh, I'm having some duck there. Just come. This is raw poultry, raw poultry uh, station. Raw. I give it raw. I don't sugarcoat. the coat. So I have some Muscovy duck there. I think it's laying. So you can see. Basically, you can see it's there. It's laying. Follow me. Uh, ducks lay before 8 o'clock. I don't know why, but they are always early laying. If it wants to lay, it lays very early. By 8 o'clock, all my ducks have already laid. Now you can zoom here. We have uh, food for the cow. Food for the cow. It's there. Come. Come. So, you can see here the compound. There, I just wanted to take you around the compound where our mommy poultry farm is located. Now, we only have um, where you can place your poultry. So, here I can even place a cow and they will just go inside here. You can see, come. Just take this shot here, so you can see here. You can see here, the fence. Then in front here, we have, um, we have a concrete wall. So I'm planning to bring this wall up to this other side. So you can see you have a compost here and uh, that. Now, somebody might ask, somebody might ask, hey, in a good number of times, I've been having challenges with uh, theft. A good number of guys were coming into the farm and stealing. So what did I do? I talked to one man, Mr. Matthew. Thank you very much, Mr. Matthew. Maybe if I'll share his number. If you want security at your farm, if you want the security in your school, and we have theft cases, we have uh, maybe students uh, in school, they are there, they are going for the second share, third share, fourth share. Talk to Mr. Matthew. I'll give you a link there. The guy will give you very good security uh, CCTV cameras. Come and I'll show you. Now, if you can see it from this side, you can just zoom up there. I don't know if you can be able to see up there. There is a camera. Now, this camera takes that view in front up to the other side. So you can see there, there we have a camera there. It takes the view here. So anybody. So with this, uh, you find that one camera is covering the other. So nobody can vandalize. No one can vandalize the camera. Like you can see this one is covering the other side. Then, just come. I have also another camera here that is taking a view from behind. So if you are a thief and coming from behind, my friend, hey, you, your day is numbered. So you can see there, there's a camera. So security here is tight, my friend. Just come. Just come. This place is secured, man. You see, child there? Hey, another camera here. We have another camera there. You can see it's taking this shot. So you are a thief coming from this side. Hey, mazewe umeonekana. Usha patikana ndo hiyo. So there's that shot from this other side. 
So ukipatikana from that other side ndio hivyo. Wewe nitakupata nitakuweka kwa CD nitapelekea police. Hapa hakuna mchezo. Then you can see here my place this is where my dog is. So my dog will bark at night. Once the dog barks I will know hey okay there's somebody here. There is somebody here. So what my wife does when he hears dogs barking he will go out. He will go to the sitting room and basically just check we will check the the the, the tv and see eh hu ni nani ameingia hapa so the dogs are there to alert her during the night that there is an intruder and then you will go to the cameras now remember these cameras are infrared so it means even at the, when there's darkness you are able to see now you can see here just come in front here also we have a shot we have another camera here taking the the forward view so ukikujia mbele ukikujia nyuma ukujia side zote mazee wewe umepatikana usijaribu hiyo hiyo usitufanyie ukiti yenye ngoro atafanyia mami calls we are security covered so if you have uh, if you have any just let me just come today i'll share everything just come in the house i want to show you the tv so the guy will connect you to the tv so you can see here maybe if you can take a shot there now if you you can see we have the cameras here we have the cameras we have another camera that is taking this shot here in the we have um this other side in the cow shed we have ukunyuma eh? you can see in front all these cameras are here to ensure that there is security now you can even do this you are in nairobi you are in nairobi you if you have wifi you can have it in your phone so that kijana hapa kianza kusema oh sijui eh, ngombe leo ijakamuliwa sijui nini aya leo sijui wezi walikuja wakaiba kuku moja kuku mbili eh mzee wewe unamuona tu kwa simu unaona so any security thing you want any security eh, go to the inbox get me on 0723 uh, eh, 0723 for your security You put a lot of money, you put a lot of stock. Umeka po ngombe ya 1100, ya 2000, kijana anaanza kucheza cheza na kazi. Hapo hivyo unamwekea cameras, unaweka wifi. Uko Nairobi, uko Mombasa, uko Dubai. I know guys that are monitoring their their whatever from even Dubai through wifi. 24 hour security system. So wewe uko hapo una run vitu zako. Uko Nairobi, uko Ocha, vitu zinaendelea. So if you need anything I'll um, just get in my inbox I will give you this guy if uh, in a school you want management you want to manage there's this uh, Matthew guy a very good guy experience he will give you the best solution that uh, uh, can enable you just come Now today I just wanted to give you a 24 I just want to I wanted to give you at 20 uh, at 360 degree about umame uh, poultry farm in Nunia because some of you wonder or are wondering who jamani mwalimu yes mimi mwalimu si ya game I'm a physics teacher but I'm also currently a youtuber please we are at 60 subscribers i know we are going to grow maze grow with us usingoje tukafika 100000 and you na to join this is the only time to join us so please um uh, thank you for your support Uh, for my daughter who is now my video director today uh, i wish you well in the half part of the term my wife you are the assistant director hapa hivi famia mumias without you i believe hii farm hizi run ingawaje leo ameogopa camera leo aonyeshi lakini next time ataonyeshwa now maybe i can just take video of my daughter thank you very much i wish you success I wish you success. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, see you in the next one. I'm out.